Hi everyone. Dominant seven chords and scales are a basic part of the harmonic vocabulary of the blues, jazz, and other music styles. So developing skill in playing them is essential to improvising in a harmonically relevant way. In case you're not sure, a dominant seven scale is very similar to a major scale except that the seventh note is flat compared to the major. The same is true for the linear dominant seventh chord. The seventh of the chord is flat. So I'll play them so you can hear the differences. This short video will focus on building the skills to practice the linear dominant 7 chords in all 12 keys starting from the roots. In other videos, I'll cover starting from other chord tones, the scales themselves, and then using all this in improvisation. While there are a lot of ways of practice in all 12 keys, in this case I use a cycle of fourths since a lot of music utilizes harmonic motion in fourths. Here's a diagram of the cycle so you can check it out. I'll do four simple exercises in total. In each exercise, I'll play a simple pattern around the cycle. You can follow along if you like. As always, these exercises should be played with good practice habits. Here they are on the screen as a quick reminder. Remember, the real value of these types of exercises comes from playing them in various ways. Use your imagination. Naturally, that means you'll have to memorize the exercises and the cycle of force if you don't already know it. For now, Look at the cycle chart one more time, and then as I play, I'll show you where I am in the cycle. I'll start on C7 concert, which means for B-flat instruments, that's D7 concert, and then for E-flat instruments, that's A7 concert. For the first very simple exercise, I'll play just the roots around the cycle. And then for subsequent exercises, I'll add the chord tones one by one. Each chord will get one measure of 4-4 four, four time. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now I'll do the first and the third, the root and the three of the linear dominant seventh chord. So now I'll do the root, the third, and the fifth, which is a major triad. And major triads live within dominant seventh chords. So that's an important part of the chord. Here we go, root, third, and fifth. And finally, I'll play the full dominant seventh chord all the way around the cycle. Okay, that's it. Pretty straight ahead. Check in the details below for links and for more information. And you can always also check my website, www.donbraden.com. Happy practicing.